is a beautiful thing Trust is all we need, eh? Do it a soul I can now But I'm still waiting when I do I'll pay my dues and set to say I do I'll give it up to you Cause everything I will do What a girl's like a million Do just what my million in you I'ma put on my billion love All who tell of my love In one basket You, you're all that I have now There's no one else So I'll guard you with my life I got a fragile heart Before you walk out the door, before you break my heart, eh? See, I wanna tell you my mind now, baby. I'm from a broken home, so stop. Lack of proper communication, sexual and financial issues, pretense, and hypocrisy are the major causes of broken relationships and marriages. If you're facing any of those challenges and you feel like walking away, Stop. Talk to Tolu today about any challenge you might be facing in your relationship or marriage. Tolu is best known for our hobby of building homes and fixing relationships. A family therapist with over a decade of experience. Counseling is not just a passion but also a divine call. Book an appointment with her today for one-on-one -on -one counseling. You can also contact her for matchmaking. Tolu also accepts invitation to speak at seminars, conferences, and churches. Fix your home. Contact Tolu today. Relationship, sex, and marriage. Part of our lives that are very, very, very important. I said very, very, very because they are actually very important. We need to really work on them to keep our life going. Most of the time, our happiness depends on the kind of relationship that we keep, what is happening in our marriage, and how beautiful our sex life is. That is what we're talking about here on Intimate Talk with Tony. Welcome to tonight's episode. It's going to be a beautiful one. Don't go anywhere. Tonight I'm going to be talking about a very beautiful topic that I've titled Effects of the Internet on Relationship and Marriage. But before I go straight to the business of the day, let me give you my tips for the week. You know what we call to lose tips for the week? Every week, every episode of this beautiful program, I give you tips that are useful for you on how to take care of your body, your skin, your whole, all around beauty, all around perfection, if it's possible, that is what intimate talk with you is all about. So my tips for the week. Number one, one or two glass of water after waking up helps to activate internal organs. Don't joke with it. One or two glass of water after waking up helps to activate internal organs. My number two tips for the week. To get rid of mice or rats. Sprinkle black pepper in places where you find mice and rats. They will run away. It was like magic. Sprinkle black pepper and then they will run away. Straight to the business of the day, I'm going to be talking about the effect of the internet on relationship and marriage. Now, internet includes your emails, your website, Google, Facebook, BBM, your two go, your Badu. I know there are a lot of them there, uh, out there. And then, when you talk about the internet, it has a lot of good. If you know what you are doing, actually, internet has a lot of good. The advantages cannot be overemphasized. But if you get carried away, you might make a very great mistake. A lot of us are making mistakes when it comes to the internet. We are abusing internet. I, I read somewhere online that Nigerians are the highest users of BBM in Africa. It's not a bad thing. Of course, we are the giant of Africa. But if you don't put 
internet to the right use, you could make the greatest mistake of your life that you're going to regret for the rest of your life. So that is what we are going to be talking about tonight. You know, it's not all we do. It's how to make you enjoy your relationship, your marriage, your sex life, to make them beautiful so that we can stop struggling, stop living in hypocrisy, stop tying trouble under a pal. Like we always say, everybody they tie in trouble under in a rapper. No, life could be beautiful. Marriage is not bondage. You could enjoy it, and that is why intimate talk is So we are talking about the effects of the internet. Like I have said, internet is good, but if you don't put it to the to, to good use, you could make a very big mistake. A recent study in US shows that one in five divorce filing side problem from Facebook. Now, considering I mean considering what I'm doing, like you know, intimate talk with Olu, um, I'm. Facebook page, we are doing well, on the website, we are doing well, of course, I'm an advocate of the internet because it's doing a lot of good for what I do, but at the same time, if you don't put it to good use, like I have said, there are a lot of things you could do with the internet, but if you don't put your internet to good use, you might regret for the rest of your life. So I said, the recent study in the US shows that one in five, you, you, think, you, you think about it. One in every five divorce cases cites Facebook as one of the major reasons why they are breaking up. That means you are having like 20 divorces. That means four of them has their problem from Facebook. You know what that means? That means, now, another uh, research shows that 20% of divorce petition filed mentions Facebook. Every divorce petition, petition filed now, 20% mentioned Facebook. Something has to be like, okay, it was Facebook, I read his message on Facebook, I saw something somebody sent to her on Facebook. It's has something related to Facebook. Before you know it now, marriages are now becoming until Facebook do us part. No more until death do us part anymore. It's not supposed to be so. The people that introduce the internet to us, it's not meant for all these kind of negative things we are using them for. It's for the good, you know, there are better things you could put all these things to. I mean, you can use them for better, beautiful things to grow your business, to make meet your long lost friend. I think that was the, the, the essence of Facebook in the first place before all this nonsense started happening. I know a lot of us have seen a lot of stories, you've heard a lot of stories about, I, I know very common stories about, I think that a particular lady who met some people on Facebook, you know all these stories. A lot of things are happening, pictures are flying around on the internet, naked pictures everywhere, married women, married men, being exposed. You know, the worst part of this thing is that internet could travel, I mean, things you post, you are posting on the internet, could travel beyond what you were thinking. Yeah, you just say, okay, she, she, she's my friend, it's my boyfriend, we care, you know, it's just between us, and then you are sending your picture, you are sending new pictures of your body. That thing could travel far. You know, farther than you could ever imagine. Whatever you you are doing on the internet, you you anything can happen. Even people that have this the most, I mean, this very secret code, a very very secret uh, code. People that are very, I mean, internet gurus. I don't know their names. They call them. They they know how to secure all these things. Sometimes they still get bored. They still people still like get to see their secret code and all that. Not to now talk of you that you just you don't even know anything you speak, you are just any picture you're having for and a lot of things are happening on the internet. So now I'm talking about the effects of the internet on relationship and marriage. Number one, internet, especially Facebook, can pour kerosene on old flames. You know what I mean? When you have a flame, I mean you have flame and then you pour kerosene on it, you know what happened. So when we are talking about my number one point is when you have old flame you know somebody you used to care about probably your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your fiance probably it didn't work out it's even worse if you guys you didn't fight you know you didn't have issues when you parted like maybe probably because of distance or something you just went different ways it's more dangerous when we are talking about Facebook, because by the time you meet on facebook before you say hello hi hi oh, what are you doing before you know it Internet, especially Facebook, pour kerosene on old flames. Before you know, you start thinking about the things you used to do before. 
you know, you have time to sit in front of the computer and then exchanging words, talking, and then if you, if you, if you get carried away, before you know it, the old feelings will start coming back. So if you are not careful, internet can pour kerosene on both friends, number one. Then number two, relationship can take turn dangerously if you are doing most of the talking online because internet removes social and physical barriers to satisfying desires. Now there's a point I'm trying to make here. For example, now you want to meet a lady for example and then you decide to make it, let's meet in an entry. You meet where people are sitting down, people are there talking, you know there are a lot of things that probably if you are alone, you might want, I mean you might be able to say freely but because there are people around, you'll be restricted. There are, you know, there are some things you'll not be able to say. Even physical barriers, you know, and social barriers will restrict you, you know, from doing some things. But when you are online, it removes these physical barriers. It removes these social barriers. That before you know it, you can talk anything, you can say anything. Just because you are in the confine of your room, nobody is watching. You are there alone. Nobody. In fact, sometimes you wake up. I mean, you stand up and lock your door just to be sure you are secure. So when you are alone like that, and you know that there's no, but there's no social barrier, there's no physical barrier. Your relationship, even when you say we just want to be friends, it might take a dangerous turn because there are no barriers. There are no, no, nothing to caution you. No people around. No, no circumstances around to caution you. It's just you and your computer or you and your phone. Before you know it, your, the relationship that you, you want to probably make platonic could take a dangerous turn. And then before you know it, you'll be doing something you didn't even bargain for. And then number three, attention from the opposite sex becomes a kind of anesthesia from pain and relief to a depressive or recovery addict. What do I mean by this point? What I'm trying to say is this. When you're having problem with your husband or your wife, in fact, sometimes you'll be praying, let her just go out. I beg, come out, come out, let her just go out. You know, you just want her, you want to be alone so that you could have time, you know, to, to chat with that person so that you could have time to talk to that. So, before you know it, each time you are having issues or issue in your relationship or in your marriage, you are using internet as a, as you know, as an anesthetic, as a, as a relief, as a form of relief. Because of this, you will not be able to work on your problem. You will not be able to work on the, you know, some, if, if you work on the, you know, I always say all the time that problem you if, you, if you, if you have a problem in your marriage and you decide to leave the problem unsolved and then you say, okay, let me just go out, probably you are having sexual problem in your marriage, for example, and you say, if she's not giving me now, let me go out, I'm going to meet other babes that are going to give me. And now the problem you were having in your marriage was sex, I mean, was sex. And then you decided to go and get it outside. By the time you come back. That problem, that that sex sexual problem, will have given birth to other problem. So to say, you might now have a nagging wife to contend with. You might have a frigid wife to contend with. You might have children who doesn't even respect you anymore because you don't come back home on time. So what am I trying to say? When you leave a problem unsolved in your marriage, it becomes a bigger problem. Now, but when you are used to the internet. It, did, it will divert your attention from solving the problem you are having because you will always see the internet as a, a form of relief and then by the time you will come back to your senses my sister, it might have been too late so internet will not allow you most time to solve the problem you are facing because you feel at least if it's not talking to me you will be looking forward to talk to that guy on Facebook or that guy or that babe on your parent Number four, for those who are stressed out with little timing for anything, internet chat is a moment of pleasure where all the stress is temporarily relieved. Now, this is like, you know, some people now see uh, internet as a form of, I mean, as a place to go and relieve stress. So the attention that you are supposed to get from human beings that's the point I'm trying to make actually. The attention you're supposed to get the petting, the the words, the suiting words, the actual the you know those things that you're supposed to get from a person. 
you might now divert your attention to attention to the internet and then before you know it the laptop will start replacing a woman or a man in your life talking about the number six point now which is pornography time magazine stated that 260 260 million pages of pornography are online and 70 piece i mean seven percent of web pages in days by goggles are pornographs you know what i mean now it's very very difficult to be online and avoid pornography i'm telling you very very difficult unless you put a restriction on your laptop or your phone you know sometimes i i get to see people you know there's a particular guy walk into my office and say to look and the problem i'm having is um is uh what what is his problem he, he whenever he sees a lady he, he actually ejaculates if you see a woman like this he will lost after that woman and he will start ejaculating and then you know he first sent me a, an sms and i told him this problem as a foundational problem you need to come and see me and when he came to my office i asked him do you have a problem with pornography and then when i saw his phone small tiny phone like this not even sophisticated phones porn everywhere now you think about it those are the effects of internet these are not the reasons why internet are meant for us pornography will damage your life will damage your sex life will do a lot of a lot of damage to you but that is one of the danger you know there's a particular guy this guy used to be like a very serious brother in the church is my son I, I, I love him so much and I respect because I see him as very very holy you know and then there was a day he was sleeping over in my house and then and I left my laptop with him and then he slept over the next morning he left very early and when I got to my laptop I was trying to like put on my laptop the first you know, all these things started popping up. I, I, I've never seen it in that form before. I was like, what? So this boy, you know, before you know it, I am not saying, I am not trying to condemn him. But I'm saying you could get carried away with pornography through the internet. And then you start damaging your life. You damage your sex life. You, you know, you start, start imagining things that are not real. That is the a lot of people are going through that problem pornography has become I mean, I mean a serious problem to a lot of people that they are trying so hard to get out of it another thing that the internet can cause to you is that it can take your time unnecessarily there are times in my office I've decided for the next uh, three weeks I don't even want to pay for my my internet the modem I don't want to subscribe because I just discovered that sometimes, so I don't most time, I don't really shout away anyhow online. But you know, I'm sometimes I want to read when when my when I don't have anything, or even when I have something doing, I still want to read online. Before you know, it, I will read this place and then go to the next. Place, I will read and read, and then before you know, my table will be full of issues, you know, things to do, and then before I forget all those things, and I start, I will start you know reading online of course they have their advantages like i have said but if you are not careful your internet will take your time unnecessarily before you know it every time you have you want to spend it with your laptop every time you have you want to spend it with your top you want your blackberry with your phone your blackberry you are shutting away you are pinging here you are badooing here you are i don't know i don't know some people will be badu to go there are so many of them and then tell me the time you will have for yourself. Tell me the time you have to for the things of God, for things of I mean for yourself. Tell me the time you will have to think about how to improve in your life. Where all you do, tell me even how you will have time for your family. As a married woman, as a married man, if all you do is go online, shut your time away, browse. That is why you discover that most of people, the people that do this, they don't they don't even if they are doing a business you discover that there are no new innovations because what they do is shut shut instead of you know taking time to think you know like productive thinking you know think about what you could do to improve your life to improve your business but instead of that you are busy shutting away online so internet can take your time unnecessarily the time even the time you're supposed to spend with your your fiance your fiance your husband your wife your kids 
before you know it, your, your, your laptop is not your boyfriend. So, you need to watch it. And then number eight, it builds vacuum between you and your partner why giving you temporary support in another's arm i think i have said something like this now before you know it when you are having issues in your relationship in your marriage when your husband is at home you are praying um let him just go out let him go out let him just go 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 i want to talk you know you there's a guy you want to chat with on, on blackberry and then you are you know you are praying inside that your husband should get out of the house or your wife should just leave so that you can shout with somebody so before you know it internet can create vacuum between you and your partner and then you will now become your temporary circle you know it give you temporary circle in another person's arm. you are you know proud for example maybe you are having issues now you know even uh, uh, how do you put it teeth and your tongue your teeth and your tongue they have issues that's why you bite your tongue sometimes so when you are in a relationship or in your in a marriage in a marriage definitely there'll be time of trial there'll be time that there will be misunderstanding and then if you are not careful the internet now when you are having issues instead of you to study it out you roll to somebody's house and say oh the person will see your face oh joan oh you are looking dull this morning this picture you put on your dp i don't like it what is wrong with you and then there are lots of us we are good in doing that you put on your dp my word is crashing sometimes i see some dp i wonder i mean what do you call it some profile messages my word is crashing god give me another man love you know you just love is not by force you know and then you see some funny profile messages and then you wonder so what am i trying to say before you know it, somebody says, oh john why why is your why did you put that your word is crashing now so don't mind that man you know. I said, oh, don't worry I'm here you know you don't worry she, he, he doesn't even appreciate you know beautiful oh, my baby and then you know women now we like all those nonsense you know those unnecessary I call it I call it a uh, sweet nonsense women like it a lot and then before you know the guy will start rapping you baby I, I don't mind him I'm always here for you anytime you need anybody to talk to just talk to me and then before you know it you are creating a very big vacuum between you and your partner while you are building imaginary house online and then finally you can fall into wrong hands i've said it i've said that internet you can fall into wrong hands. people fake people you know sometimes you see some people in facebook you see their profile you see you see their their bmw their range rover they just post like this at the side of the window not be their own I remember a story, a story of a guy like this who came to to town to get married to a particular lady, and then when when he met the lady, he told the lady that uh, uh, let's get married here, and then why you stay here? Each time I travel to my hometown, I will come back and meet you. There's no point for you following me. And then the lady said, No, wow, you are so handsome. Your house will be so big. I need to go and know the pretty guy. I said, Don't follow me. There's no need. I said, No, I need to go. I said, Okay, you, are you sure you want to follow me? I said, so the lady now started following him. As they were going, they got to a particular river where the guy borrowed, uh, that was where he borrowed all the clothes and everything. And then the guy said, Are you sure you want to follow me? The lady said, I will follow you, you know, I love you, you know, you are seeing a clean, beautiful man with everything. All the properties the guy borrowed, he dropped in that river. The lady said, I will still follow you. Mm-hmm. The guy was naked, he was, she was following him. They got to another spot. The guy said, are you sure? He said, no, I love you. This time now, the love not too strong anymore, you know. The guy now dropped the leg and the ham. Because that was when he borrowed leg and ham. He dropped the leg and ham remaining from here. The, girl, the lady started crying. The left guy now said, at this point, then you cannot go back anymore. You know, some of us, at times, we get so deep, in so deep, with internet relation, relationship that we can lose everything that we have that we might not be able to go back anymore. And then it got to a point, the guy has to give back the person that he borrowed the eyes. That was how he started dropping people's parts. Borrow the eye, drop it, the hair, drop it. And then he remained only the... The guy was just, was actually... Only a head, a head without a part, you know. And then the lady was now crying. I want to go back. The guy now said, "No, this is a journey of no return." So sometimes we get carried away because of unnecessary vanity, or those things are not real, fake things. 
you get carried away till you get to the journey of no return. So sometimes, when another impact on the effect of relation, I mean, internet, is that you can fall into wrong hands. You can fall into a very wrong hand. Now, I am not trying to like make internet look bad. Of course, I told you it's doing. I mean, the, the positive, the advantages is overwhelming. It cannot be overemphasized. But what I'm trying to tell you is just like a wake up for you, for you to watch it. If you find yourself in any of this category, just watch it, you know, so that you don't make mistakes. They are good. Use internet for the good that is meant for, you know. So, now, this is just a wake up call, like I have said, to remind you to stop the unnecessary things you are doing online so that you don't regret your action. So now, what do you do? I am I saying you should not go online. I'm not you should not use Blackberry. You should not be on Facebook. No. So what do you do? How do you use this? How do you put it to the right use? These are the points you need to know. By the time I come back, I'll be telling you what you need to do. Remember, this is Intimate Talk with Tulu, where there's always a shoulder to lean on. Don't go anywhere. I shall be right back. Lack of proper communication, sexual and financial issues, pretense and hypocrisy are the major causes of broken relationships and marriages. If you're facing any of those challenges and you feel like walking away, stop. Talk to Tolu today about any challenge you might be facing in your relationship or marriage. Tolu is best known for our hobby of building homes and fixing relationships. A family therapist with over one decade of experience. Counseling is not just a passion but also a divine call. Book an appointment with her today for one-on-one -on -one counseling. You can also contact her for matchmaking. Tolu also accepts invitation to speak at seminars, conferences, and churches fix your home. Contact Tulu today. Intimate with you know, why there's always a shoulder to you know. We've been talking about a very beautiful topic tonight that are tied to the effect of internet on your relationship and your marriage. So I have been telling you some of the impacts. Now I'm going to be talking about what you do. What do you do? How do you undo your internet? What do you do? Am I saying you should not use internet? No. What do you do? Number one thing you need to do is be open about your status. Especially for the married men. <clears throat> Even if you are single and you are engaged, be, be, be open about your status. You don't need to use your hand to scatter what you built with your you, you built all, all over the years. Yes? Because of what? Because of a guy somewhere, you don't want him to know that you are engaged and you just I just want to flirt around, you just want to be friends. No, it doesn't work that way. You must be able to be firm. Be open about your status. Put it there. Married in your Facebook page. Single. Sometimes I see people in an open relationship, uh, uh, engaged and sad. You know, some funny, funny status like that. But what am I saying? When people see that, if you are married, don't. A lot of married men, a lot of married men, men especially, are very guilty of this particular point. You, you are married, then you put single and session. We put single and session so that all the ladies will be running after you. What are you trying to achieve? What are you trying to achieve? Put married. You know, somebody told me that even this wedding ring said, no, they matter. People know they look at it. It, it, it might not matter. You might think it, 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 people don't really look at it. But the first thing, think about it. When people see you, especially when you are well dressed, either male or female, they try to look at your finger and see if anything is going on. It's still making this impact. And then it shows that you are committed to something. You are committed to somebody. Be open about your status. Let it be married and married. Not that say go and session when you are married. You know. But two, define every relationship. What, am I, what do I mean by that? Now, learn where to draw the line. What am I doing with you? Who are we? Are we friends? Do we just talk about business? Do we just talk about academics? 
before you know you get carried away, you've been looking forward you know, to the person, all you talk about is G's, you just talk about nonsense, you shut all your time away, you talk about sex, you talk about relationship with somebody who is not your husband, who is not your wife, who you are not engaged to, you start talking about de describing private parts, you know, define every relationship, who, what are we doing together, you know, I am not saying you should be rude, you know, but you should know where to draw the line. A particular joke like that online that if you meet an American lady online, say you say hello, uh, hello Jane, my name is Kenneth, can I meet you? Jane will tell you my name is Jane, a mother, a single mother, one work in so 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 place, and I'm so 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 years old. We just give you a brief, she will give you a brief history about herself. But when you talk to a Nigerian lady, say ah, hello, can I meet you? The lady says, excuse me, for what? You know that it, that Nigerian women are like that. Actually, I'm, I'm not talking about. That. I'm not saying you should be rude. You can actually tell the person, "This is my name. This is what I do." But you should understand where to draw the line. You should know that when you are going into deep, you say, "This is this. What am I doing with this person? Think about it. Is this person my boyfriend? Is this person my fiance? Are we bus do we talk about business? Are we just friends? You know, define your relationship." Whenever you are online, don't get carried away and you know become friends with everybody. You don't know what you are doing. This one is talking about uh, private part. This one is talking about sex. That's all you talk about. You no, know, define your relationship. Number three, stop looking for soccer online or discussing your problem. The person you are talking to might actually be going through the worst situation. Stop looking when you have a problem. I've said that before. The problem you left unsolved will multiply. When you have problem, try to look for solution for it. You know, to it communicate talk to your partner, look for marriage counselor. You know, pray about it. Do something to make it work. That is the problem we have in this part of the world. We think marriage is automatic. We want it to work. Relationship is automatic. It should, it should sort itself out. No, it needs hard work. So what am I saying? When you are having problem, stop looking for soccer online. That will be problem. That will be time of crisis. Settle down. And sort out your problem. Don't go and be discussing your issues and then be put it deep in. Men are dangerous. Men are killers. And you are married. And then you say, oh, uh, you know, all those, all those things are not necessary. Solve your problem and then don't discuss your situation with people. You know, talking too much might get you into more trouble. The, the guy asks you, ah, uh, Tolu, how are you now? He said, everything started to this morning. Yeah? And that man, no, if you see the way just. Uh, to me, I'm here for you to look. Don't worry, I will give you my shoulder. That's why I'm here. And if you are leaning on another man's shoulder, and your husband, you are fighting with your husband. You know what that means. You know, so stop looking for someone before your situation gets worse. And number four, do not send your body parts as pictures, it's meant to be private. Whatever is valuable, whatever that carries value is always properly covered. Now, think about crude oil, think about gold. Even coal, think about what it takes to get those. You will have to dig hundreds of feet, I mean, down the ground before you can get into all these things. Whatever is important, whatever is useful, you need, you know, you need to cover them properly. Do not send your body parts as pictures. Don't do that. Don't allow any man. I know that thing is very, very common among us. Do not be tempted to do it. If I make it clear from day one, no matter how, how serious the relationship is, make it clear from day one, please. The very day, say, oh, okay, let me just see you in your underwear. That's how they start. What are you wearing now? Let me just see you. And then smile. You go inside and snap your pant and bra. That's how it started. Don't deal it. Don't allow anybody. That thing in your body is called private. I call it gold mine. It's meant to be private. So you don't ever make the mistake of, because it can travel beyond your imagination my thing is just between the two of you. it can travel far beyond your imagination and then before you know you've seen a lot of stories in particular there's a particular one about a married woman who was everywhere i am not trying to mock her but i'm trying to tell you to be careful there is no reason for doing that for god's sake there's no reason for doing that. so don't make that mistake because it could be very dangerous and then number number five do not smell what you can't or what you won't eat don't smell what you won't eat you know that this thing i don't need it there's no point parabolating and, and then shouting i miss you i love you my baby and then you are enjoying those sweet nonsense well you know you don't need it so don't smell what you won't eat learn how to draw the line know when to say no don't go beyond this level please
you know, no smell what you want or what you can eat. Number six, do not go online when you have nothing important to do. Most of us, we just go there. And then you start scrolling through. You'll be looking for somebody to chat with on Facebook. We say hello to this one. We say, by the time I say hello to like 10 people at this one, one of them will answer. You are jobless. Sorry, that's what you are actually jobless. What am I saying? Don't go online. I mean, wasting away your time, your destiny for that matter. Be because in the process of it, that you fall into deeper and I mean, hands. And then before you know it, you, you take some wrong steps and make some wrong decisions. So, what am I saying? Don't go online when you have nothing important to do. And number seven, control the urge of going to pornography sites. Block everything blockable. Every everywhere pornography can pop up in your laptop, in your phone. Block it. Block it. Make sure you control the urge to go to a pornography site. And finally, don't do what you can't do if your partner or third party is not there. There are some things that you know because you are alone, you lock the door, you do. Don't do what you can't do. When your partner or your third party is there, don't do it when you are alone. Don't do it. No matter how tempted you are, no matter how you uh, how you really want to do that, when you know that if somebody comes in, this thing I cannot do it. When you are online, don't do it. All right. I'm sure you might have at least gained one or two things from tonight's episode. Intimate always to listen, not to condemn you. It's just to see how we can make our relationship to be smoother, to make our marriage to be better, and to set life to be more beautiful. Thank you for being part of my show tonight. You want me to answer any of your questions? You have any issue that, I'm, that you are going through? You want me to solve them? All you need to do is to send me SMS to my direct line 081-845-75377. 081-845-75377. You can also send me an email at intimateomitunu at yahoo.com. Thank you for being part of my show tonight. Uh, my food for thought before I go, the quality of your life is the quality of your relationship. I want to see you same time, same station on the street. Goodbye. Love is a beautiful thing. Trust is all we need. A eh? don't hit a soul I can now. But I'm still waiting when I do I'll pay my dues and set to say I do I'll give it up to you cause everything I will do What I care is like a million They just want my million in you I'ma put on my billion love All the boots I left my love In one basket You, you're all that I have now There's no one else So I'll guard you with my life before you walk out that door, before you break my heart, eh? See, I wanna tell you my mind now, baby. I'm from a broken home, so stop thinking.